This painting, all Greek to me, is an ode to an island voyage that was etched on my mind from a few years ago that brought a sense of calmness and sanctuary that was much needed after a trip to frenetic Athens. From the shoreline, we see a road wend up the mountain and stop in a small village and then continue its ascent up the mountain, passing goats and people along the way. The painting recalls one of the views I had from that climb up the mountain. In this next piece, Ocean Spray, I chose the single color, indigo, because it feels like the moment we are in right now. The panoramic shape acts as a metaphor for the vastness of power and expanse of this situation. The smaller than life scale makes this immense subject more approachable and conquerable. Cold Pursuit was inspired by a harrowing Arctic expedition over a century ago. Notice how the light from the sun gets refracted throughout the thick ice. The purple blue shadows remind us of the hidden frozen history locked within this polar region, which at that time was uninhabited or discovered. In this diptych, reliable source, we see fast moving crashing waves juxtaposed with lazy static clouds to create the rapidity and flow of water as an appropriate metaphor for unfolding memories. Notice, if you will, the warmer tones of the right panel present the same place as the left panel, but with different qualities because it takes place at a different time. Daybreak on the Lake is a wistful painting based on a trip to Lake George, New York, close to where I spent some of my youth. The innocent, pure beauty of the light in this particular painting reminds me of walking down to the lake early before the sun rose to see fish swimming through the crystal clear water that's still cold even in July. Alone Together is a piece that occurs on a beach in Montauk, Long Island, where I've witnessed the harmony of surfers riding waves and how each one rides independently, spaced apart from the others, each doing his or her own thing, kind of like jazz musicians that communicate spontaneously within a framework of a composition. They each take a solo, bow out, and the song ends. Splashdown. This painting shows cavorting beach ball surfing on a particularly insouciant summer day that conjures memories of my youth. Notice the diffused sunlight coming through the waves that bring optimism and sense of well-being when we need it. By converting the normally bright colors into a monochromatic indigo, all the elements in the composition are treated equally. So we notice the formal contrast with more clarity the geometric patterns of the bouncing spheres atop the wanton crashing waves, which are more amorphous and less geometric. Obscured Source is a unique monochromatic piece that is not in indigo, but has a limited palette. The impression of parallel movement of sky and sea are featured here as crisp lines create boundaries in a natural geometric manner. Faint greenish blue in the upper center draws you closer and borders the matte finish on the right with a more vibrant, semi-reflective left portion. Numerous layers of texture and glaze resemble the buildup over decades of barnacle clusters that adhere themselves to the scratched, weathered hulls of seafaring vessels. In this piece, Secure Location, I presented a restful arrangement of forms, like a magnificent rock formation that you come across after walking through the woods. This formation has been safe and secure and unmoved for many centuries. A slow painting that was built layer upon opalescent layer, many textures emerge and disappear into the surface of the canvas, like the tips of leaves that jut out from frozen streams in the winter. Notice the cooler green tones that enclose the painting like curtains around a glowing stage. In evening sounds, the small scale represents the closing of another beach day. All the children and playful dogs have gone home, and bird sounds, crashing waves, and whistling winds are all that remains. 
In this biplanar composition, we see a warm, more muted top section resting upon a cooler, more defined lower plane. The orange fiery ball comes between the two planes on the horizon and sends shifting light that skips from wave to wave like a stone. Sunset drama in a restful place is what this piece captures. Power Force was inspired by a book on salmon and how they migrate from fresh water to salt water and then back to fresh water. Against incredible odds, swimming upwards against falling water and rushing rivers in the other direction. I thought I'd pay homage to that heroic achievement. Struggle and persistence can overcome impossible odds. Notice the pale, warm reflections that peer through the pulsating waterfalls salmon would have to jump over to complete their migrating process. Rough borders symbolize destruction of salmon runs due to industrialization pollution and dam construction for hydroelectric power. Today, salmon are making a slow recovery and may the world soon follow. Ocean Play is a companion piece to Splashdown, a piece seen earlier. It's a similar idea, yet it has a different mood because it's later in the day and the sun is more reticent. Perhaps it had rained or is about to rain. Beach balls are stacked like mobile sculptures in this piece and seem to be performing acrobatic balancing acts as opposed to its predecessor, Splashdown, where the balls are untethered, surfing freely, jumping about the crashing waves, close but not touching each other, much like things are right now. This elongated piece, bigger picture, is a portrait of a wave a real gentle giant that has a soft misty haze floating over it that reminds me the comfort I felt tucked away in the north country in a home by a fireplace beside a lake with a warm beverage watching the sun hit the receding tides. In this piece for years to come, we see qualities of a seascape rearranged in a more abstract representation with a similar lighting and texture found in a typical seascape. Through transparent layers and obscured layers, I reveal hidden imagery upon closer inspection of the surface. The painting also can be viewed from different vantage points and reveals different facts from different distances. Much like when you tell a story over the years, things change in the retelling some facts may come and some may go, depending on how far away you go from the original source. <laughs>